Good evening and welcome. I am honored to stand before you and be a part of such a very important evening. Tonight's ceremony is a celebration of hard work which each student sitting here has given, given to all of us. However, this honor is a representation of more than just academic success. We are asking the students this evening to also agree to serve as leaders and representatives of Rochester Middle School and are, and are committing to giving back to their school and community at the same time. To the parents, guardians, and family members present this evening, a sincere thank you to you as well. It is with your support and guidance you give to your student which makes this evening possible. Tonight's ceremony is a culmination of these efforts and for that we are most grateful. Tonight's ceremony is meant to be a dignified event. With that, I would gently remind you to make sure you have silenced all electronic devices. In addition, I want to share that my greatest concern is that a family might miss the recognition of their student due to applause. So I will respectfully ask that you hold all applause until the end of the ceremony rather than as each name is called. In that manner, we'll be assured each student receives their recognition. At this time, I would ask that everyone rise and join me in the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance and also join me in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance Thank you, you may be seated. <laughs> there were several adults who made this evening possible. Some of them are here in the chairs beside me and others are seated in this room. I would ask that all those who work with these students each day, please take a moment to stand and be recognized. I also would like to take this time to recognize our uh, council advisors, Mrs. Terry Bowers and Mrs. Misty Kreit. Each of them are giving a lot of their time and uh, <coughs> energy and talent to support these students. A sincere thank you to each of you. At this time, I'm going to turn the program over to Mrs. Kreit. Hello, and thank you so much for attending tonight. Your support of your kids in this time is such a great thing. We really, really appreciate it. I want to give you a little information about uh, NJHS. Since 1929, the National Junior Honor Society has been a prestigious organization and is more than just an honor roll. Membership carries with, a rec with it a recognition that is nationwide. National Junior Honor, Honor Society seeks to create an enthusiasm for superior scholarship, develop citizenship, promote leadership and service opportunities, as well as instill exemplary characters of quality in a character. Through NJHS activities, members maintain and extend the qualities that earned them the selection. Membership is both an honor and a commitment. At this time, I would like to introduce you to a couple of our former NJHS members. Olivia Jackson, former president, or excuse me, vice president. Mason Beale, former president. Before you lie some candles that represent some character qualities that we look for in NJHS members. The candles will now be lit for each of these qualities that stand for the emblem of National Junior Honor Society. Scholarship. It's one of the students' total academic performances demonstrated by the grade point average earned through the second semester of their seventh grade year. 
leadership is considered highly important for membership selection and the faculty council meets to make sure each student has shown leadership skills at RMS. Service. Service is considered to be those actions undertaken by the students which are done with or on behalf of others without any direct financial or material compensation. Citizenship. Citizenship is when the students demonstrate an understanding of the community involvement, participate in school activities, and hold a respect for the freedom and justice of our country. Finally, character. Character is a blend of all the qualities mentioned. It is composed of many attitudes which influence the decisions you make, and your character is bound in a moral and ethical framework. At this time, I would like to introduce co-sponsor Terry Bowers who will introduce our past officers to pin our new officers for this year. We would like to thank the former officers for the former officers for concluding their duties coming to this induction ceremony to pass the torch on to the next group of officers. I would like to present last year's NJHS president Mason Beal. It is my pleasure to ask Ms. Kennedy Waymeyer to come forward. Kennedy, do you agree to uphold the duties and responsibilities for the presidential position for NJHS? Yes. Thank you. Next is our former vice president, Olivia Jackson. I am honored to ask Callan Campbell to come forward at this time. Callan, do you agree to support Kennedy as president and the NJH's group and leading as vice president? Yes, I do. At this time, I would like our new president and our vice president will pin the rest of the officers and members their pins. Kimberly Batten, historian. Delaney Chips, secretary. Grant McCarter, treasurer. Maya Musselman, parliamentarian. Gracie Andrews. Kimberly Bannock. Brock Beeler. Baller break. Carly Blackburn. Levi Border. Tessa Brooks. Mercedes Brown. Molly Conley. Samantha DeVise. Chloe Harris. Blake Hughes. Haley Jones. Lexi Kelly. Kane Lutz, Grady McCall, Daphne Nolan, Drew Nolan, Anthony Peterson. Kyle Reinhardt. Yep. 
Trenton Reinhold. Abigail Richard. Carly Richard. Caitlin Rogers. Riley Rao. Calvin Sager. Eleanor Shank. Jessica Smith. Will Smith. Quinn Stasiak. Elizabeth Swango. Noah Swango. And Regan Trottier. You can applaud for this year's NJHS chapter. At this time, could I ask all students to please stand? Please repeat the NJHS pledge after me. I pledge to uphold, I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society, the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage high standards. And will maintain and encourage high standards. Of scholarship. Of scholarship. Leadership. Leadership. Service. Service. Citizenship. Citizenship. And character. And character. Members of the National Junior Honor Society, I would like to remind you that with recognition comes responsibility. Your induction this evening was not a culmination point, but rather a starting point. Your charge to fulfill your pledge starts this evening, and yet I would like to remind you that you are not alone. Look around this room. You are surrounded by adults who care and are invested in your futures, and you should feel proud. Parents and family, let's please honor these students one more time. 